Hi there folks, welcome back to Rich Reviews, my latest documentary for you guys here now, and my apologies for getting this out later than I originally had envisioned, and it's called The Alpinist. Now, after the excess of free solo and the increased popularity of rock climbing and free soloing, documentary filmmakers were like, okay, who else can we make a documentary feature about? And... When Alex Hannibal was getting notoriety and success and fame, he was asked, okay, who do you think is a guy who flies under the radar or deserves more attention for his pursuits? And Alex Hannibal was like, oh yeah, this guy named Mark andre Leclerc, who is from Canada. And basically several filmmakers said, okay, let's go seek him out and let's see him explore his philosophy about the way of alpining and free soloing these mountains. Now, any documentary coming out shortly there afterwards of free solo is going to have a hard time escaping that one particular documentary's long shadow. I happen to believe that this documentary does a reasonably good job of capturing its subject and not trying to be a free solo imitation. Grand, my parents were the only ones in the theater here with me, so we could just gasp and amaze and all th the things that Mark andre Clark were doing, and how basically, unlike Alex Hanold, who was doing this on a rock climbing on a mountain, he was climbing mountains with crampons, you know, ice panels, and you just have to be amazed at everything that this guy was doing. He was flying on their radar. He really did not really want to be filmed. And so they spent a lot of time really talking to his mother, who was basically like, yes, you know, he was a rambunctious child. He had lots of energy. He didn't like being in school. So for several years, I tried to, you know, homeschool him. We get out of nature a lot of the time. And then sadly, of course, he had to go to high school. And he, his mother basically says, yeah, that was sort of a prison sentence for him because it killed his sort of creativity. And once he got out of high school, it's just sort of like, okay, I'm going to do this mountain climbing thing. And, you know, I'll try to do it that way. The only really way to make money at all is through sponsorships. And quite frankly, we don't really get the feeling that he wanted to get all these sponsorships. They just want to do it for the love of climbing the mountains. Now, again, alpining has come a long way in recent years. And we too talk to a lot of people who are sort of considered elders in the alpining world. And how basically they say, yeah, what he's doing has to be done on your best day with the best conditions possible because otherwise your ticket is going to get punched and quite frankly as we all come to learn a lot of these people one way or another are going to get their tickets punched. Will the day come when Alex Hanold's ticket gets punched? Possibly. But like Alex Hanold he's going to, have to do what he's do and he does best. If nothing, if nothing else this film needs to be seen for a cinematography alone and the mountains in and of itself. We see him climbing Mount Robson in the Canadian Rockies. Apparently, my parents said to me, oh yeah, that's the hotel that we stayed at when we went to the Canadian Rockies that one particular year, and I honestly don't remember the hotel all that well. Most people who just get scared being on top of a small chair or don't like having a glass near the edge of your table, this probably wouldn't be the film for you because, let's face it, people are afraid of heights. Or one of his more crowning achievements is that, oh yeah, he went to Tor Jaeger in Patagonia. And also, as my parents point out, they were in that particular town when they went to go see the base of the mountain. Obviously, they didn't climb the mountain, but they obviously hiked near that area. My father also did some hiking back in the day. Obviously, there are a whole bunch of philosophies here that are strewn about that I really won't get into because I think it's quite hard to repeat them. And obviously... His girlfriend, and it's always amazing how these nerdy type of guys get girls. And I'm like, God dang it, why can't I get a girl like that? Obviously, I'm not a mountain climber, and she's obviously one that got into the bug as well. And basically, this is to see him on the side of a mountain in a tent, strapped to a near edge of a... It's just really amazing. And so in the end, folks, what I'm going to say about the alpinist... I am amazingly enough I'm going to give this a matinee rating because I think people should see this. As so, folks, the Alpinists, have you seen this? What do you think? Please put everything in the comment box below here, folks. As always, folks, like, comment, subscribe. 
Richard Soul from the Left. I'll see you next time, folks. Yes, sorry.